Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Good night, brethren. Good night. Good night. Can everybody hear me? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Deacon. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, good night. It's a joy and a pleasure to be in the company of the saints tonight. I'd like to thank God for this opportunity for us to get together again. Technology does, technology does afford us the opportunity of meeting, even though we're not together in one place, we're together in the faith. And we're connected to the wires and the vines of the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who keeps us connected every day. Whether we are together or we are apart, we are all of his body. Right, since um, tonight, the Lord has laid a word on my heart. And it's this song that was playing is quite fitting. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. And it's also in keeping with the word that came forth this year. Is a year of fulfillment. There's a lot of us, including myself, that has been waiting for things to be fulfilled. And we're wondering, and some of us are hoping, and some of us sometimes has doubts, it will never happen or it's not happening. But the word I got for you tonight is, comes from Proverbs 5, 5 and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Instead, in all ways, acknowledge him. In all ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. Sometimes we're not sure where our path will take us. Sometimes we seem like it's very uncertain. But one thing I'm sure we can assure ourselves, I can assure you, once you trust in the Lord to guide you, no matter how crooked the path seems, no matter how rough it seems, no matter how far, no matter how off track it seems to be, once we trust in the Lord, he will direct our path. He will show us too that whatever it is that we are looking for for fulfillment this year, we just need to put our trust fully in him. We might not see the finances if that is what is take. We might not see the opportunity of whatever it is. But I've been there, and I'm sure some of us have been there before, where we just get to that point where we just have to trust in God. We sometimes have gotten to points where we have tried everything that is humanly possible. Because sometimes we are only human also. And it's an excuse of sometimes we use, but not an excuse to be used to cover our faults is that we, in our own strength, will try everything. And God will get our attention to remind us, trust me. Just trust me. I will do it. And it's like he said, he will, there's a song that says he will do it again. Because whatever he's done before, he can do it again. If we've been looking for healing, it might be some of the doctors might say different. And I've learned to listen to the doctors. Sometimes it's the voice that God has given them so we can direct us. And so whatever they say, we know to trust Dr. God or Dr. Jesus, whichever term we want to use, because he can direct our path. There's another verse. That I've looked up a few verses that says about trusting. And Psalms... 118 it said it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Sometimes somebody will say, Trust me, I'm gonna do it. And they know they're not gonna fulfill it. Welcome to this opportunity for us to get together again. Technology does a, technology does afford us. So I'm not sure what happened there just now. And sometimes they will say, Trust me, I can get it done. And for the life of most of us, we wait and we wait, and it sometimes never happens. But once we trust in God, sometimes we just have to exercise some patience because he will deliver 
every time. Sometimes what we ask for is what we want, but it's not really what we need. And he said he'll provide all, he'll give us all that we need according to his riches and glory. And we know that he's not short on anything that we ask for. He says, ask and it will be given. But really, it's something that we ask for isn't really what we need. And like he said, he'll give us all that we need according to his wishes and glory. We can have, we can wish for things. We know what we, and think we know what we want. But God knows best all the time. And whatever it is that we're believing for, God will fulfill it in his time, not in our time. I'm sure if we look back, we'll see some things that we'll wish for and we'll hope that it happened. And it might have taken long. And by the time it has happened, we'll see, and we we'll look and be honest with ourselves, we'll understand it is God timing, which is perfect time. And not the time that we wanted, because God is always on time. He never fails us, and he isn't about to start failing us now. You must say, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on our own understanding. In all our ways acknowledge him, and he will direct our path. And that's a good scripture to keep on your mind. Sometimes when things seem tough, and the going seems tough, they say when the going seems tough, the tough gets going. Sometimes when things seem rough and seem like it's can't come, then we need to have scriptures that we hold on to that encourages us. Because sometimes we're all alone, even though we might be in a crowd, we're all alone. And the only thing we do have to hold on to sometimes is the word of God. And so for me, trusting the Lord is one of the scriptures I hold on to quite often. And I've seen it come to pass so often with me. I've had to exercise faith when I've had no other way to turn. I have promises that were made to me and never happened. I've had people that seem to have stood in the way and can they stand in the way God is standing in the gap. I'm sure I'm not alone with that. I'm sure some of you have been at that place where somebody is standing in the way. But if somebody is standing in the way, God okay. is always standing in the gap. And no matter how much stumbling block people might put in your way, no matter how difficult it may seem, right, he will always come true. He will never fail you. He has never failed. And like you say, he cannot lie and he cannot fail. His word is true. And whatever he said, he will do. He will always deliver. He won't let us down. He will cover us when our going in or coming out you know, growing up and our coming down, whatever it is, God will see us through. Isaiah 12, 2 says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. He has become your savior. He has become your deliverer, your provider. Whatever it is, he is there to deliver. He is there to cover. He is there to take you through or to take you over no matter what the situation is. Just be encouraged tonight brethren that God is still on the throne and he will never ever leave us alone. He is there to carry us through any situation that we have. Any burdens that we are carrying, he will bear it for us. If we are hungry he will feed us. If we are weary he will carry us. Whatever it is God is in control and will never, ever leave us alone. Just be encouraged, saints. If you're at a place, what, whatever the situation you're looking, we are looking at tonight, just remember, God will see you through. If you remember nothing else tonight, just remember, trust in the Lord. He will see you through. There's nothing too hard for him to do. And there is nothing that is impossible. There is a lot of things that's impossible for man to do and impossible for them to move. But God is the God of all possibilities. There is nothing that is too hard. There is nothing that is hidden that he doesn't know. And so my word to you tonight is to trust in the Lord. I, li I like to testify quite a bit. I remember years ago, when you used to have to go to the U.S. Embassy or make a phone call to make an appointment. 
I forgot to call and I was going to call him. It was about six o'clock in the evening and somebody says to me, you're wasting your time. I called and they answered and I had my appointment. I was telling somebody, they said, not only God can do that for you. And there are so many situations I've had where I've trusted God. And I could have blown up. I could have gone someplace, but I've just stayed calm and trust in the Lord. And even today, I was faced with a situation for a client about six years ago. He came into the shop and ordered something. and even paid his deposit. And when he came back, he went off the rockets. He was cursing and swearing. And I said not a word to him. He refused him to take the product. And the product's been sitting on my shelf for the last like six years. And every time we go to clean the workshop, I said to the guys, he will come for it. I was walking there and take a slipper today, and he, I heard somebody, I saw him, so I said, hello. And he said to me, I was thinking of you today. By the way, I will need a cover for my sale, which is a cover I'd made for him six years ago. He said, I'm getting too old now. I need a cover for my sale. I didn't say to him, remember the one I said, thank you, Jesus. Because the same cover he refused years ago is the same cover he's asking me for. And the same cover he's asking me to price him on. So I said to him, you know what? I will sort you out on Monday. I will get your cover for you. And it is only God that can bring somebody that was so bitter around to come and take the same thing that he's refused and had refused to pay me. Now he's going to pay me. If I, and I, I have to be careful, right? Because, because time has changed so much. I could have jumped and said, well, I can charge him at today's price. But he had paid his deposit years ago. And sometimes the enemy likes to test you when he gets you to a point and say, jack up the price. But I cannot because God knows my heart. God is in control and God has brought him around to cover the bills that he had left unpaid. Whatever it is that somebody might have been rubbed, might have rubbed some of you wrong, might have behaved badly. Sometimes the enemy used, send those people around to take us off track. We must remember to always stand our ground because whatever happens, whatever tangent somebody chose, God is in control. He will, as long as we trust in him and manage our behavior, God will see us through. We don't have to act like the world and behave like the world the way they behave because we know who is in control. I'm not saying here to be weak and wimpy and giving every time because that is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, trust in God. He will fight your fight for you. There is time when you have to fight and he will tell you to. But there is time when you stand your ground and you will see him take control. And he will cover whatever it is. He will fight your battle for you. And you will win the battle without even lifting a hand. We serve a mighty God. A God that is able. A God that is, that can, that is all powerful. A God that can do all things. A God that is never shot. A God that knows each one of us. He said he knows the here and our, every, every here and our head. And if a God that knows us that much, what else can, I, can he not do for us or to us or through us if we make ourselves available? I like us, brethren, to look at the year of fulfillment and to look at whatever we're asking God for and trusting in Him because He will deliver. He said, We may not know when, no, we may not know when, but our God will surely do it again. He has done it already and He will do it again. And again and again. He is always in control. Sorry, my technology is failing me. He's always in control. Romans 15 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. If we live in hope, we know God will deliver.
Oh God, once we, this is, there's a saying that says, once you have life, you hope, have hope. I say, once you have God, you have hope. Once we have God, we have hope. We will, in a human form, maybe be discouraged, but God is in control. And once we put our trust in him, he will deliver every time. I just want us to into this reminisce or just savor that word trust in the lord with all our hearts and lean out on our own understanding in all our ways acknowledge him and he will direct our paths he's got many paths there are many paths that we all would like to take but let's just trust god and ask him to show us the path that he wants us to take i've learned and i'm still learning to trust in him to see which path he wanted to take me to. There are many paths I've gone before that hasn't been the path of God. And he's directed me quite often to where he wants me to. He has done it for me. He can do it for you. Just put your trust in him and he will direct you to whatever it is that he wants you to fulfill or to fulfill in him. Whether it's a family issue, whether it's a personal issue, whether it's a church issue, or a country issue, God is in control. In spite of what we hear going on around the world, or even if we listen to the news locally, in spite of what we hear going on and see going on, God is still in control. And he will remember his own. So no matter what it is, he said, thousands of fall at your right hand and at your left, but it, and it, will, it will not come nigh unto us because he is there standing in the gap for us all the time. Not some of the time, all the time. Psalms 112, 7 said, he is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm. Trust in the Lord. No matter how bad the news sound, trust in the Lord. He will turn things around. He has done it for me on several occasions. I'm sure he's done it for quite a lot of us. But if he hasn't, he will do it for you. Just trust and believe that he will do it for you. God never fails and cannot fail. And he will be the God that will see you through. I'd like to call on a few brethren to pray tonight. And my, I'd, I'd, I'd like to pray as the Lord led it, but also remember to pray for our nation. There's rumors of, there's wars going on everywhere. And sometimes people will ask, where is our God? Our God is not missing. And he's not, in, he's not missing in action. He's not gone anywhere. He's right there with open arms waiting for quite a few of us or some of them that ask where they, where they, where he is to come home or to trust in him. Sometimes it takes a lot to get some people's attention. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to get some people's attention. Sometimes it, it takes something very simple to get some people's attention. But God knows how and when and where to get our attention. And I'm just hoping and praying that whenever he comes over to get our attention is that we are ready and open to know that he is speaking or he's showing or he's directing and we follow his lead, trusting in our God. I'd like to ask, I think I'll ask Sister Luana, if you can, to lead up a prayer. Then I'll ask, Brother Hugh, and then I'll ask Sister Nicole to wrap up in prayer. When I trust that the word that I brought tonight has found place to, has rested in or on our hearts and gives us something to reminisce and think of and gives us the assurance, uh, the assurance to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding in all our ways, and I, and I reiterate all our ways, 
acknowledge him and he will direct our path. Sister Zoraya. Hallelujah. Amen. Father God, we just come before you tonight, my God. We humble ourselves, my God. Father, we just give you the glory, we give you all praise because there's none like unto you, my God. For you are a redeemer and strong tower, my God. You are the ever-present help, my God, in time of need, my God. So, Father, we just give you the glory, we give you all praise, which truly belongs to you, my God. Father, it's all about you, my God. Everything, my God, we do, we say, my God, we live and we move, my God, it's all about you, my God. Father, my God, you have called us, my God, to worship you, my God. You called us, my God, to keep our eyes fixed on you, my God, because everything, my God, that we need, my God, pertaining to this life, my God, is hidden in you, my God. So, Father, we just want to thank you, my God. Thank you for all what you're, you have done and all what you're doing, my God, and all what you're going to do, my God, because it's all, my God, because we know, my God, everything, everything, my God, even when our hearts, my God, are troubled, my God, of the different things we're seeing around us, my God, even in the world, in our personal our lives my god in our countries my god my god it's more than enough my god to make us lose hope my god to let us you know for us to be nervous my god but we know my god if we continue to keep our eyes on you my god you are our peace my god you give us a peace my god we pass all understanding my god so when we come underneath your umbrella my god under the shadow of your wings my god you will give us everything my god that we will not be moved when we see these things my god that we will stand strong my god father my god you because you your purpose and your plan for us a good plans, my God, not to harm us, my God, but Father, to give us a very good ex end, my God. So once we stay underneath your wings, my God, and underneath the shadow of my God, of your wings, my God, we know, my God, we will be hidden, my God. You will be our protector, my God. You'll be our umbrella, my God. Father, we just want to thank you for all you're doing, my God, for you are really, truly, truly God. Because we are seeing so many things. We, we, many of us could testify, my God, that when our backs were against the wall, my God, and we cried out to you, my God, and you you heard us, my God, you answered and delivered, my God, and you, we were, and my thing, many things will come, my God, to make us fearful, my God, but you have not given us that spirit of fear, my God, and we thank you, my God, for giving us that sound mind, my God, that when we see these things, my God, when things, my God, come upon us, my God, all we need to do is cry on to you, my God, and wait, my God, and not be fearful and not lose hope, my God, and not go before you, my God, that we will be still and know that you are God and wait on you, my God. Help us to wait, my God, to in this time, in these times, my God. Everyone wants everything so quickly, my God, but in the waiting, my God, Father, when we wait upon you, we know, my God, you will answer, you will deliver, you would answer in your time, and it's not about us my god it's not our timing my god because when you move my god we you always move you're always on time my god as pastor collins you are a nigger time of god we have seen your hands move my god we've seen my god when we pray for the storms my god which are coming our way and we pray, my God, and it seems, my God, that there's no way that it's definitely going to come and overshadow us, my God. In the nick of time, my God, you turn it around. And we say thank you, my God. Thank you for turning around every storm. The storm, the natural storm, the storms of life, my God. We thank you for turning them around, my God. Yeah. Because you, my God, you, my God, you are our deliverer. And my God, once we stand on your word, once we put our trust in you, my God, Father, we know everything which happens, my God, is for our good, my God. Something we know we have to go through the storms, my God. Many times we want to go, we want this nice Christian life, my God, without having anything, my God, to come our way, my God, to shake us. But Father, it's in the shaking, my God. That's when we are purified, my God. It's in the shaking, my God. We see, my God, what we are what we are truly standing on. If we're standing on solid ground, our oh, oh, ground, my God, is not is shaky, my God. So that we can dig deeper into you, my God, and make our ground, my God, the miry clay, my God. You've taken us from the miry clay, my God, and you've set our feet on solid ground. And Father, help us to continue to stay on that solid ground, my God. So even when things come our way, my God, 
God. We will not be moved. We will not be shaken, my God. Father, we just want to thank you for all you're doing, my God. Father, I know even I could say personally, my God, I've had a trying. This year has opened up, my God, and it has been trying, my God, with many different things, with deaths of loved ones, my God, death, you know, illnesses of my parents, my God, you know, but Father, my God, I just continue to seek you, my God, and I thank you for that peace that you have given me, my God, to stand strong for it all, my God, because Father, sometimes I know I feel overburdened, I feel overwhelmed, my God, but I feel that your peace, my God, when I cry out to you, my God, I feel that peace that you place over me, my God, that calmness, my God, that stillness, my God, in my spirit, my God, and I know many could testify of that, my God, that when they seek you, my God, you, you truly turn up, my God. And Father, we just want to thank you. We thank you, my God, for going before us, my God, for making every crooked way straight, my God. We thank you for opening doors, my God. Father, we just thank you, my God, for everything, my God, you're doing, my God, because you are ahead of us in all our everything we're going through. You are always ahead of us, my God. So help us just to wait. Help us to wait, my God. Let Help us, my God, and not fear. Help us, to, my God, stand strong in you. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace. Thank you, my God, for all you are doing, my God. I thank you, my God, for the peace, my God. I thank you, my God, for the joy unspeakable. I thank you, my God, for the rest, my God, the rest which, my God, that I have in you, my God. Father, I just give you the glory and give you the honor. I give you the praise, my God. Father, I just ask that you cover our nations, my God. Father, we're seeing, my God, so many different things, my God, even with you people just going missing my god in both i've i've seen it in bobby's i'm seeing it all reading it in antigua my god father just these young people just going missing my god and they turn back up my god but many have gone missing and not been found but you know exactly where they are my god and i ask my god that you reveal it to my god reveal it my god to us my god as we sweep pray, my God, that you will give us a word, my God, that we can go, my God, and give it on to give, deliver that word, my God, that those who are searching, my God, will find, my God, those who are missing, my God, that rest, my God, that the family members who are who are worried, my God, and, and crying out to you, my God, that they will have find some form of comfort, my God. Father, we just ask, my God, you just cover our nations, my cover them, my God. We plead your blood over them, our nations, my God. Father, we just ask, my God, that your peace will rest upon our nation, my God. Father, my God, we just ask that our nations, my God, will truly turn their our hearts back unto you, my God, that you will be the first, my God. Everything, my God, we, we do in our nation, my God. We will seek you first, my God. We seek, seek you first, my God, for direction, my God. Even our... Our leaders, my God, we ask, my God, that you will change their hearts, my God. Those who do not know you as Lord and Savior, my God, we ask, my God, that you would meet them in the midnight hour, my God. And Father, you would you will come to them, my God, in their dreams, my God. And Father, shake them, my God. Shake them in their dreams, my God. Father, that they will cry out to you, my God. That they will have an encounter with you, my God. That they will know it's you beyond a shadow of a doubt, my God. That it's you, my God, who is speaking to them, my God. And Father, we just pray, my God, our nations, my God, will truly turn their hearts back over to you, my God. That we shall have peace in our lands, my God peace in our lands, my God, that no war, my God, or the, all these rumors of war, my God, but they will not come nigh to our shore, my God. So we cover our nations, my God, with the blood of Jesus. And we, Father, we ask that you have our way. We give it all unto you, my God. We rest it in your hands and we say thank you for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We bless your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Glory. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we bless you and praise you. Thank you. You're a good God. Hallelujah. You may not know how. You may not know when. For he'll do it again. 
Hallelujah. He is still God. He yes, will yes. not fail you. He is still God. Mm. He has no change. Hallelujah. He is still God. He is fighting for us. Mm. Just like Moses. Mm. Just like Daniel. Yes. Just like Shadrach. Meshach. Abednego. He'll do it again. Hallelujah. My God, do it He'll again. He'll do it again. Hallelujah. Just take a look at where you are now yes, and where Lord. we've been. Yes, Lord. Has he always come true? Yes, you oh, have. Yes, yes. He's the same now as then. Yes, Lord. Oh. They never change. Never they changing. You may know how. You may not know when. Or he'll do it again. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and love you tonight. Yes, Father, we bless you, Lord God, for you are a great God. We thank you for the privilege, my God, that we can truly come before you once again, knowing, Lord, that we can cry to you, O oh, Father, and that your ears are attentive to our cry. We love the Lord, our strength, our rock. We bless you and magnify you and say, Lord, hallelujah to your name. You're the great God. We exalt you. We magnify you. We thank you, Lord God, that we are alive today. We are still in the land of the living. My God, we have proven you time and time again that there is none like you and that we can come and we can call upon your great name. Your word is true. You cannot lie. Oh, God, we magnify you, God, our rock. God of our fathers, Abraham, mm. Isaac, Jacob, David, Peter, James, John, my God, our fathers, mighty God, we want to bless you for your covenant keeping God. And we love you. We confess our love to you tonight that we can gather, my God, your word declared that greater works, my God, that we will do, my God, as Father, you have ascended and we can join together in our homes, in our tabernacle tonight and we can come and rejoice in the lord we want to thank you for this week uh, mighty lord. god we thank you lord for the great things that you have done lord even with us as a church as a people mighty god father we want to thank you that we can come together again and and offer up prayers and supplication my god petitions before you once again knowing in whom we believe and therefore we speak and know that lord god that you will bring it to pass and we want to bless you tonight we say, take the highest seat, my God, in our meditation tonight. Take the highest seat in our thinking, my God. Father, we magnify you. The Lord, our rock, our strength, our fortress, our mm. high tower. My God, we bless you. We ascribe greatness to you, my God. Mm. And Father, we call your great name today. We say the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has prevailed to open up the book. And so, Father, we want to bless you that we can be a part of your great inheritance in the earth. Father, we magnify you, Lord. We glorify your name. We thank you for what you've poured out in the midst of our expression of the body. That we could, my God, fellowship even on Sunday. Looking back, my God, as how you move to the worship, or to the to the deacons, my God, as they deacons and they deacon out, my God, Deacon Leroy and my God, Deaconess, mighty God, Father and Father Deacon Franklin tonight, my God, Deacon Bradford. We want to thank you for the work that you're doing in the midst of your people. We thank you for the mantle and the anointing that you have rest upon them, Lord God. And Father, you who know the hearts of your people, even as we can come and, Father, offer a petition before the living God, we want to bless you. We say, hallowed be your name tonight, Lord. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. And so, Father, tonight, Lord, we come. Lord, standing upon your promise today as the man of God ministered, Lord, and your words say, in that day, thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though thou was anger with us, my God, your anger hath turned and you comfort us. And so with joy, my God, we draw from the well of salvation. And so tonight, my God, we want to join together all over Antigua Barbuda. Even, my God, those may who will be joining us, Lord God, in different nations, Barbados, my God, and Father, Lord, in the U.S., wherever, my God, your word is going forth and we're standing in agreement. Father, we are praying tonight because we know that we serve a living God. 
And we're asking you, my God, to be attentive to our cry, to our ears, my God. We lift up before you, my God, to every circumstance, every situation that may seem impossible. Your word declared to ask. Ask and you will give us, my God, the heathen as an inheritance. Ask a hard thing, my God, and tonight we come before you and we are believing you, my God. You said to ask that your joy may be full. And so, Father, in the name of yes, Jesus, God. we're yes. thanking you Thank today for salvation. We are thanking you as we draw from the well of salvation that you will trust in your sickle and save, my God, to the uttermost. We bring, my God, the hard cases before you. My God, Father, those, my God, who kicks against the pricks, we ask you tonight, Lord, that your prayer of thorns will hedge them in. And Father, we pray, oh God, Lord, that they will see your children, oh God, as salt and light in the earth. And Father, that you will draw them to you through your people. Father, we pray tonight, my God, for your saving grace to move to the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. And to the nations of the earth, O oh God. Father, you say pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for our Jerusalem. And we pray, O oh God, for the holy city Jerusalem tonight. We pray, O oh God, we have prayed for Venezuela and Guyana. And we have seen, Lord, that you have quelled, my God, certain hostility. And Father, there's nothing too hard for you to do. We have seen your miracle signs and wonders daily. Lord, as you manifest and touch hearts, and we have heard of confessions, mighty God. And so, Father, tonight we pray, oh God, that you will move by your Holy Spirit, oh God, and save the one nearest hell, for you do not have any pleasure in the death of the wicked. And so tonight, my God, we are trusting you that you will put a burden upon your people so that, oh God, as we are enjoying the things of the kingdom, we are able, my God, Lord, to minister your love and your compassion, oh God, to those among us in Antigua and Barbuda. My God, Father, we pray that you'll open up doors of opportunities for your people, oh God. And as we go into those doors, we will use them as conduits, Lord, to spread your love and your mercy, oh God, and your saving grace. Give us utterance and boldness, Lord God. We pray, oh God, for our young people also, Lord, who are saved, oh God, among us, that they will be in the world, but not of the world. And we, as your dear children, also, mighty God, that we will walk circumspectly, thanking you tonight for the words of wisdom that you have released upon Deacon Bratwit. Mighty God, how we are to function in the realm of business, in the realm, oh God, of commerce, in the realm of our daily work. Father, we pray, oh God, that we'll be salt and light in the earth. Mantle us, oh God, with your power. We bless you, Lord, for this day. Lord, you say, in that day, thou shalt say. And so, Father, the day, oh God, of fulfillment. We are believing you, Lord God, even in this, the 26th day, Lord God, of the first month of 24, 2024. Lord, you have sent the word among us, the year of fulfillment. And we are believing you for your word said to believe the Lord and believe his prophets, and so thou shalt prosper. And so, Father, tonight we are trusting you, my God, to do something mighty in the midst of Antigua and Barbuda that will bring glory to your name and your name alone. Oh. Father, we believe in you today, my God, to shake the things that can be shaken. And my mm -hmm. God, the things that can remain, oh God, Father, to bring glory to your name. Take the preeminence, oh God. Father, we thank you. And we believe in you, my God, to release mantles upon your people so that even when, my God, we are gathered and persons may pass along or skip along or view, my God, the anointing of God will break yokes, destroy burdens, my God, and that men will come to know you, that people will come to know your light, that the church, my God, Father, will be straightened out, Lord, from the wrinkles. My God, here and there, we are believing you, Lord, for doing something awesome. Father, we thank you today. Lord God, for courage, Lord, release courage upon your people as we cast our tears upon you. And leave it there, my God, that we can trust you. As the word says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Father, we pray today, when it seems like the pressures are coming in, give us the courage to stand upon the word of God and say the word says it and that settles it. Father, give us the courage to believe you in the times, oh God, of infirmities and sicknesses. Mighty God, when the children might be going astray and acting up, oh God, give us the courage to stand and have some stickability in you. 
oh God, to believe your word, oh God. Give us the courage, oh God, Father, to speak a word of health to our flesh, a word to believe you, my God, even, Father, if this situation, Lord, job application, mighty God, for those of opportunities, mighty God, Father, we are asking you today to release courage upon your people and strength in your word. We bless you, my God. We are thanking you for what you're going to do in the midst of us in this nation and throughout the earth. Father, we ask you, Lord, to get your people in CGFB ready, oh God, for that which you're doing in 2024, the year of fulfillment. We decree it, oh God, the acceptable year of the Lord's favor to be released on our house, my God, that we'll be able, Lord God, to be filled with the fullness of God, that we'll be able to pay the price for the anointing. Oh God, that which we're believing you for, we ask you to give us the courage, oh God, Father, to stand firm, Lord, all the ministries in the bits of CGFB, O oh God, to be ignited, O oh Lord, our strength, O oh Lord, our fortress. We draw from you tonight, O oh God. We cry to the, Lord of, the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, and we say, my God, stir up your people, O oh God, for you are the lion of the tribe of Judah. We pray, O oh God, who knows the heart, Lord, the seed, the root of David. You know, O oh God, you are appointed. And so, Father, we are praying today that you, O oh God, will do something, my God, God, that the ears of days, those who hear will tingle and say that God is in the midst of them of a truth. And we thank you for the fresh fire that you will release upon the shepherds of the house. Oh God, tonight we cry out to you from the ends of Antigua and Barbuda that there will be a light in this nation. Mighty God, we are joining together and holding up the hands, oh God, of the under shepherd. We say, undergird them with strength. And tonight, Lord, we take dominion in your name and silence the tongue of the accused of the brethren, every slandering devil, that every water mouth demon that is slandering its mouth against the servants of God, this night, Father, by your power, we silence every strong man. We Jesus. bind them and we cast them away from CGFB yeah. and the body of Christ as a distraction mm. in the nations, whether it's T.D. Jakes or T.B. Joshua or whoever, mighty God, that distracting devil that has been released, oh God, against your anointed. We said today, my God, it shall not cleave to our ears. And so, Father, cleanse us today. Cause us to be a remnant. Lord God, a church, a glow with your power. We even bring up before you today the restoration work that you're doing within the men's ministry, the women's ministry, my God, the youth ministry, Lord God, even the worship team, and also, my God, the children ministry, the ushers. We say, let them catch fire and be a glow with the power of God. God, that people will see, not only in church, my God, we pray the Lion of the tribe of Judah to release a praise in us, that we will have a humming and a buzzing. Wherever we go, my God, there will be something that is impactful. So, Father, we are calling on to you tonight. Let there be something Hallelujah. in us. Mighty God, that will be able to flow, overflow for the year of fulfill and overflow. So, Father, we are believing you tonight that out of our belly, we will draw the rivers of living water and we will be able to flow into the four corners of this nation. Mighty God, tonight, let it be quickened with your people. Light a light in Antigua and Barbuda. Father, we bless you and thank you, Lord, for what you're going to continue to do in the midst of us as a people. We lift up your name and magnify your great name. We thank you, my God, for breakthrough. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you, my God, for answering prayers. Week after week, my God, we come before you. And you have shown yourself faithful. Hallelujah. And so we can bring it back to you, even on Sunday, and pour it before you. Hallelujah. Mighty God is the greatest privilege, the greatest place that we ought to be. My God, in your presence, we want to thank you for you have shown us the part of life. For you said in your presence there's fullness. And in the year of fullness, Lord, we want to thank you today. We want to bless you, Lord God, as you will quicken us according to your word. You say, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And so tonight we ask you for the earth. We ask you for the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. We ask you, my God, for the hidden as an inheritance. We say, Lord, trust in your sickle and reap the precious fruit of the earth. Oh, Father, tonight, we want to bless you. We want to thank you for what you're doing in the midst of the church of the living God. The church of the living God is triumphant. Hallelujah. 
Father, even though you may have people, the tears and the wheat grows together. The church of the living God is unstoppable. We want to bless you and decree it to principalities and powers tonight. Satan, you have no authority to condemn God's people. For God is the one who died and rose again. Hallelujah. Father, we want to bless you tonight. We lift up your name over this nation. Hallelujah. And we silence the enemy. We silence the enemy. Take your hands and your mouth off of God's people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today for the triumphant church. We bless you, my God. Have your divine way. The Lord, our strength. The Lord, our rock. We bless you today. The Lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Father, establish your name in the midst of your people. Put your mark upon us. Mighty God, set us apart as we continue to join together and believe you. We say we walk by faith, oh God, and trust in you. And we will not be ashamed. Father, quicken us, oh God, as we continue to pray before your throne tonight. Have your divine way. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory amen. for you. Glory. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. The psalmist says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name. Father, we're going to magnify your name tonight, oh God. Lord, we want to give you praise. We want to lift you up because you are God. Father, we want to thank you because you're worthy of our praise. We want to thank you for covering us through the day. I want to thank you, my God, for battles that you fought today that we didn't even know about, oh God. We want to thank you. Father, we magnify your name tonight and we give you praise. We adore you. We love you. We thank you for being who you are. You're God. We want to thank you, my God, that we can call upon you. You say you will answer and show us your salvation. Father God, tonight, my God, your word says, if your people, if if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from our wicked ways, you will hear from heaven. And Father God, you said you will heal our land. Father God, tonight we ask in you, dear God, that you will forgive us. Father God, we repent. We ask, dear God, that you will cleanse us. You'll purify us, oh God. Father God, we are praying, my God, as a people, my God, that you will hear from heaven and you will heal and heal in Barbuda. Father God, we look at the circumstances, the situation that is going on in our country, my God, and Father God, we cannot look to anyone else, but Father God, we got to look to you. Who, oh, my God, when you said, I am that I am, my God, whatever you want, whatever we want you to be, my God, that's who you will be, my God. And tonight, my God, we're asking you, dear God, that you will be our deliverer in Antigua, our young people, oh God. Lord, we commit them to you tonight, my God. I believe it's a burden for everyone, my God, with our young people. Father God, I ask you, God, you will touch them, my God. Lord, even as parents, my God, we come and my God, we repent. Even for speaking negatively over their lives. And my God, sometimes the manifestation of what we have spoken, my God, is manifesting. Father God, tonight we ask that God, you will touch our young people. My God, I, I declare that we have not lost our young people. And Father God, I'm saying, my God, touch our young people tonight, my God, from homes, broken homes, my God, from rejection. Father God, from lack of love, my God, from insecurities, oh God, Lord, touch them today. My God, let them know that, my God, they are loved by you, my God. Even with their flaws, my God, you said, you love, my God, unconditionally. Father God, touch our young people tonight. Lord, start with our young people in CJFB. We are going home. Father God, we call them by name. We call purpose in our young people, oh God. And Lord, we say, touch them tonight. Lord, you know them by name. I may not be able to call them by name, but Father God, you know every young person in CGFB. Oh God, tonight we say, touch them today. Let yes, breakthrough Lord. come tonight, oh God. Father God, it mustn't be business as usual, oh 
God. But yes. Father God, we call forth, my God, the prophets. We call forth, my God, the evangelists. Father God, we call forth, my God, the one that is going to touch, my God, and lay hands on the sick, speak to demons and principalities. We call them forth tonight, oh God. We call yes, forth Lord. the Elishas. Oh God, we call forth, yes. my God, the preachers. Yes. Father God, we call forth, my God, the psalmists. Father yes. God, we call yes. forth, my God, every young person in our mix. We call them by name. We call forth purpose. Oh God, we call forth purpose. My God, there is purpose, my God, in our young people. Their purpose in Joshua. Oh God, their purpose, my God, in every young person. My God, even those that are dancing, the young ones, my God. You say you call them because they are young. We call them, my God. We're not going to say our children are going to come to church, but in a body bag. But my God, they're going to come walking. They're going to come dancing. They're going to come, my God. Let Sunday morning be an unusual Sunday morning, oh God. Where our young people, my God, dance before you. My God, let them anointed. My God, let them fall. My God. Oh God, I say I want something unusual to happen. My God, let there be a shifting in the heavenlies, oh God, that young people would flood the altar and say, here I am, Lord, use me. My God, let young people say, let me be a vessel yeah. of honor. Oh God, I want something unusual to happen. I am tired, oh God, of seeing our young people destroy, my God, because of marijuana. Oh God, destroy, my God, because of a little spliff. Oh God, let them be high for you, oh God. My oh, God, we call forth, my God, our young people, my God, we say arise, arise in the spirit, my God, and take the mantle and move. Holy Ghost, I want something to happen, oh God. I believe in you, my God, as we come as a church and we come corporately, oh God, we're saying move. Move, my God. Move, my God. Let it be a difference. My God, I want to feel the difference of our young people. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, our church was known for the amount of young people. My God, I called for the young people ministry to come alive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I called for, my God, even the children church. My God, let them speak prophetically, oh God. I called for, my God, your people, oh God, that you will move. My God. Touch every marriage, oh God, because it starts with the institution of the family, oh God. When the family is strong, I always say the church will be strong. God, we call forth, my God, unity amongst your people, oh God. Father God, I ask you, God, that you will move tonight. Move, my God. Oh, touch us, my God. There'll be a burden, my God. There'll be a burden for our young people, my God. Lord, I refuse to let another wounded soldier die. I refuse to allow the enemy to destroy our young people. Father God, I will wrestle, my God. I will stand, my God, with our young people. I will encourage them, oh God, that they are valuable, my God. They're not a lost cause. They're not a mistake. But you are purpose. Whoever is listening to my voice, there is purpose inside of you. There is purpose. And you're going to stand upon the word of God and know who you are. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Father God, I want to thank you. Even as Deacon Bratwe says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead her to their own understanding. Sometimes the enemy tells us who, who you think you are. But when you know who you are, you can declare who you are. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Father God, I call them forth tonight. I call them forth in the worship team. I call them forth in the ushers. I call them forth in every ministry, in the sound room. When they dance, my God, let the anointing flow upon them, oh God. Lord, order their steps, oh God. All the day steps, my God. Lord, I bring our leaders before you, the leaders of the church, oh God. Lord, speak the same, the same spirit into their spirit. Speak the same word to Pastor Shervin, the same word to Pastor James, the same word to Pastor Pell, my God, and the other leaders of the church, my God, and its members. We will rally with them. We will hold up their hands before you and their families before you, my God. Lord, I said, no yes, weapon against them will prosper. And those who rise against them, my God, they will fall. Father God, I cover them under their blood. Even as Pastor Colin go out, oh God, I cover him under your anointing, oh God. 
Lord, pushing him in your love, oh God. Lord God, even of a pastor serving, oh God. Lord of his family. Oh my God, I ask me, God, you will minister to them, oh God. Lord, touch Pastor Pell. Strengthen him, oh God. As I confess his mind is the mind of Christ. Lord, speak to his spirit, my God, that he will know. And he will know that the word that he's speaking is coming from you, oh God. Lord God, so when the enemy comes in like a flood, your spirit will raise up a standard against him. And Father God, I want to thank you for tonight. Lord, I want to cast my cares upon you because you say you care it for us. Yes, and Lord, we're going to trust you. My God, we're not going to look to the east, not to the left. But Father God, we're going to trust you and not be afraid. Father God, we're going to trust you. We're going to look to you, my God, who is the author and the perfecter of our faith, oh God. Lord, we want to thank you tonight. Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, oh God, that my God, you hear the cry of your people. And Father God, you will answer and you will deliver us, oh God. You will deliver our country. You will deliver Antigua and Barbuda. My God, you will deliver us, oh God. Deliver your people, not only CGFP alone, but who are called by your name, oh God. Touch the churches, my God, and we'll be in one accord. My God, we'll speak the same language, oh God. Father God, I just want to give you praise. I want to give you glory. Father yes. God, I want to give you honor, my God. You alone are worthy, yes. oh God. Yes. Father God, we magnify your name tonight. Oh, we magnify you. Oh, yes. we magnify yes. your name, oh God. As the psalmist says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. And let us exalt his name together. God the Lord, and he Amen. heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. Church, we seek the Lord, and he has already heard us, and he will deliver us from all of our fears. He has already delivered us. We just have to believe the report of the Lord. Father, we just want to thank you, even as we go, oh God. Remember us, oh God. Remember our leaders. Remember their families, oh God. Father God, we just want to thank you. And we want to give you all the praise, give you the glory, and give you the honor, my God. We exalt you, oh God. We lift you up, and we give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, my God. Blessed be God forevermore. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all thy way. Thy way. Acknowledge you, then we shall direct your path. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Trust in the Lord. Yes. With all your heart, lean on to thy Lord. What's the next one? Yes. And he shall Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord, for directing our paths. Yes, we call the Lord, 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 the Lord
Yeah, that's around the meter. 